Hey, this is Digital Byte Computing, and today we're gonna to talk about how VMware vMotion works, and we'll check it out right now. So here I've got my environment. I've got a host, a physical host, running a few different VMs. I'm gonna draw up here a second host. There's a second host, likewise, with a couple of VMs. is VM4 and VM5. All right, so I've got one, two, three VMs. Windows servers will say, running on this host, this is host number one, and this is host number two, and then you've got these two VMs running on host number two. Now, both of these VMs are within the same vCenter instance, okay? So if we're talking about our setup here, We're talking about vCenter. So vCenter is gonna manage both of these hosts within the same, essentially the same portal. Now generally what you can do is uh, you can actually move these VMs between hosts, right? So physically on this server, I've got this server running, right? So this VM3 is running on this host. Now let's say for whatever reason, um, you know, let's say this, this is uh, eight gig of RAM, okay? This host has a total of eight gig of RAM. And this VM, I've allocated two gig of RAM to, two gig of RAM to this one, and two gig of RAM for this one. And then in future, I've gone, well, actually, I need a bit more RAM allocated to this host here, all right? So I'm, I need to give this host now six gig of RAM. So I cannot allocate six gig of RAM to this VM because my total host is eight. So I'm already eight, 10 gig, right? And it only allows me to do eight. I've got a second host here. This host has 16 gig of RAM, right? And this VM has got two gig, and this VM has two gig. So you'll straight away see that there is more than enough space on this host to have and host this VM. Now there's two things that you can do in this scenario. If we're not talking about vMotion, the first thing you can do is you can power down this VM. All right, so this VM, you actually go start, shut down, right, and you power it off. Once that VM is powered off, you can now migrate, all right, you can migrate this VM off this host onto this host. No problems, all right? The only issue with that in some places, in some companies, is that you cannot afford an outage. If you have an outage, then you've got potential problems and outages to your customers and to your clients, okay? So in most scenarios, that may not be possible. You know, if you need to do something emergency, you need to do it during the day, and you cannot afford an outage, what is your solution? Well, your solution is vMotion. Essentially what vMotion does is it allows you to move a VM over to another host while it is powered on. Now, we're not gonna go into the specifics of how to set up vMotion, but you have to configure what's called VM kernel ports across your hosts on your network virtual switches, right? These are the virtual switches in your host set up over vCenter to allow communication between the two hosts, right? We'll, we won't touch on that, but just be aware that you need to configure that before your vMotion will just start, okay? It will not happen on its own. Once all that is configured, I can now actually move a host, a VM, excuse me, from one host to the other while it is powered on, all right? So that link could actually disappear. It will now sit on here. So now I've got VM all the way down here. This is VM3 now, and it's now connected to this host, right, without an outage. Right, and now we know that that had two gig of RAM, I can now upgrade it to six gig of RAM without problem, and now I've got 10 gig of RAM, but I've got 16 gig in total, all right? So that is essentially how vMotion works. So I'd love for you to comment if you found this video helpful, comment below and like this video, I would love to hear your feedback, and it also helps me build my channel also, and let me know what you think. We'll talk to you next time. So if you found that video helpful, please like it and subscribe to my channel, Digital by Computing, just on the button there for more videos.